Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. As you can see from the title of the video, this is going to be me on on packaging my October. Oh gosh, we're already in October. My October Glam Bag Plus. So if this is something that interests you, just continue watching. Alright, so I'm just gonna pull out two things that I have outside the packaging that I purchased with the add-ons there. Um, Alright, so this is the bag right here for the month of October and in the back it says your magic. So this is how it looks. Um, all right, so the pamphlet is here and the theme for the month is your magic. Now, this doesn't tell you, you know, what you're getting in your box bag because you get to customize your your bag. So, you get to customize three items and then they pick two for you based on your beauty quiz. So, um, but in here it tells you um Okay, I don't know. It just gives you things guide or something. I'm not sure, but it has nothing to do with what you're getting inside your bag. Um, so I did purchase. Let's see. Let me pull out what I purchased from the add-ons. Now I ended up getting the Kate Somerville um, KX Active Concentrate Serum. So it hydrates and plumps. So I got this serum. I also got the Sunday Riley. Um, CEO brightening serum as well and I ended up getting the glow recipe PHA and BHA port type toner so I ended up purchasing these three items here now um, I think I only paid I don't know if it was 12 or 18 dollars one of those two for each of these but I think it's a steel deal because they are very expensive Kate Somerville and Sunday Riley is known for you know their luxury um, products. They are very expensive, in my opinion, um, for skincare. So I'm glad I got to purchase this on the add-ons for a much much cheaper price. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I am going to pull out the first thing here. Now I did already did a video on this but when i was very editing it it was blurry so you could not see you know the products you couldn't see me like it wasn't focusing right so i am redoing this video again so just in case you do see that it's swatched is because of that now the first thing that i have here is from thrive cosmetic this is their highlighting stick bright brilliant eye brightener so this is like a highlight for the inner corner or the brow bone, wherever you want to add a little bit of highlight to the area. Now this is in the shade Aurora and it looks like this. Now I am going to go ahead and swatch it so you can see more of what it is and how it looks. It's like a rose gold brightener or highlight um i don't know if the camera is picking it up good but it is a nice highlight it's nice subtle highlight let's see if i can apply it in my brow bone all right so you might be able to see just a little bit of the highlight as you can see all right I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is it right here. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the prices on my phone. All right. So the eye brightener in Aurora from Thrive Cosmetics is $24 right here. Now the next item that I have here is Skin and Lab B Plus Calming cream i believe this is a um a korean skincare brand i 
I think it's a Korean skincare brand and I am glad I got to choose this item here because I don't think I have much of the Korean beauty brand and I heard good things about you know Korean products so I'm glad I got this on this bag and I got to choose it all right so it looks like this right here this is a full size and let me see how much this is all right so this retails for 18 dollars so this is a face cream it's it balances and soothes the skin to keep you comfy and hydrated so i'm glad i got to choose this the next thing that i have is this palette right here from lovecraft beauty this is a six pan eyeshadow now i did already swatch this on my previous video so you might be able to see well you are going to see you know the swatches but these are the colors right here and this is pyros fanis and fat farah farah i don't know these names are very complicated um let's see right here right here here. so those are the colors right here and they are very pigmented i do like the way it feels it's buttery i like it and let me go ahead and clean my fingers for the next swatches all right and the next color is agni toraja and pirate i think that's what it says so all right let's see where am i gonna put it because i have the okay i'm gonna do it right over here okay all right so those are the colors right there now they are very pigmented and they are buttery i like the way it feels in the pan so i believe this is gonna be a good eyeshadow for the eyes all right, so this retails for $35. Now, I think this is an expensive eyeshadow palette, um, $35 for a six pan. This is a brand that I don't really hear often. Um, the first time that I heard of this brand was here in Ipsy. Um, so I didn't know they were that expensive, but $35, pan, $35 for a six pan is kind of pricey i wouldn't pay 35 dollars but i am glad that i got this in a subscription box it does feel you know very comfortable smooth creamy buttery so i cannot wait to play with this in my eye and see how it blends with one another so yeah 30 35 now if you do hear you know noises in the background of a movie i am watching watching you know Halloween movies since I am in the Halloween spirit <laughs> so don't mind that um, the next thing that I have here is an item that was chosen for me as well this is the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder now let's see how much this retails for all right so this retails for $34 so the powder is like this it looks like that the packaging looks like this it is very pretty i like it purple my favorite color and it is translucent setting powder now you do get a mirror and you do get a puff for it and then you just have to peel that so you can get the product from out here i do have already you know quite a few setting powders open so i am not going to use this right now but i do want to try this out i heard good things about this um setting powder so i can't wait to give it a go and i'm glad you know this was chosen for me and the last product that i have is from house laboratories this is their lip gloss and this is an item that of course i picked and i'm glad i got to pick this item um they didn't give me which shade i want to pick so i'm glad i got to choose i mean i'm glad i got this 
shade um, right here or color because it is a brown color the other one I believe was like a red or or purplish pinkish color I don't remember but I'm glad I got to choose this one I mean I'm glad I got to have this color to choose I don't know I don't know if I'm making any sense but yeah so the applicator looks like that and it looks like a ballerina let's see so it looks like a ballerina and the lip gloss is very very thick I am not gonna put it on my lips since I already have lipstick on but it is very thick um, I think it's gonna be sticky which I don't mind and you know for a lip gloss it does have a lot of color which I like and I like the color this is in the shade or in the color chaser now the items that I picked um, I was okay with picking those items but based on the other products that they were showing me to choose from I really wasn't impressed with them so that's the reason I got to pick these um, from you know whatever I can pick from and overall I am glad that I got everything that I got in this box but for choosing your items I think they should be able to give you more of range option to choose from because the ranges that I got like the options that I got I really didn't care for none of them but I had to choose an item so those are the items that I ended up choosing um, now this right here is an item that I got to choose but everything else that was there for me to choose from I didn't care for as well as this but since it is a highlighter I do like highlighters so I ended up choosing it now I will leave the retail value of my box somewhere in the screen anyway this is everything that I got for this month's bag box however you want to say it and let me know what you got did you get to choose good items were your options also kind of eh, but you have to choose one or did you just let them surprise you if you can still get surprised but anyways let me know down in the comments down below and if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so you can see my videos um, as I upload them and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.